All right, guys, welcome to uh, How to Start Your Own Business uh, by Nico Murillo. I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how to run your own business. Sorry if like this is really bad lighting um, and if there's a glare. Uh, this is my first time doing this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, like really comment below. Um, but this is step by step process on how to start your own business. Now, if you're starting your own business, um, you need to know what entity you're gonna be. You need to know um, all these stuff behind me. We're gonna take you through it. Um, everyone's business is different, um, but this is how you become legal, right? Um, uh, how the taxes you know, work and all that. I'm going to describe all of it to you guys right now. Uh, but if you guys are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go right into it, guys. So, I'm kinda crouching like this, because I haven't gotten the camera set up to be really good yet. Anyways, how to start your own business. Okay, now, you're gonna need your business name, right? Uh, you need to check if it's available online. And how do you do that? You fucking use this thing called G-O-O-G-L-E, Google. You fucking type it in Google. See if that bitch is an LLC or is it a corporation already, right? You gotta see if your name is available, right? Because if it's not available, you can't use it legally. Uh, you're getting trouble uh, for copyright laws or, um, you know, that's really important, all right? Check your availability of your name, Google that shit, Instagram it, Facebook it, um, do whatever you need to do to find if that name is taken or not. Because I guarantee you when someone, when it's, it's taken and, you know, someone's, like, oh, you took my name, I'm gonna fucking sue you. You're shit out of luck. Anyways, number two, what you need to do. Type of legal identity. Entity, fuck, I don't know what I'm talking about. I got it all written down right here. So, what you guys need to do is, we have it right here. Um, so a sole proprietor, so type of legal entity, there's a sole proprietor, there's a general partnership, there's a limited partnership, a limited liability partnership, a corporation, whether that is a C Corp or an S Corp, so that's the corporations, a nonprofit, and you have the last one, the limited liability corporations. Majority of people do this or this, just to let you guys know. Um, the reason for that is because sole proprietor, it's really easy to make. It's really easy to make. I'm talking like all you gotta do is um, just say you own your own business and you know that, that's you and that's it. There's no partners, there's no nothing. Because when you have just a sole proprietor, you, but the thing is, you're gonna be the one taking all the losses. But you guys are, or not you guys, but you, the sole proprietor will take all the gains. Now why is that beneficial? Hmm, take all the gains take all the losses. You pick your choice, it's up to you. That's why there's types of legal entities. There are many different ones. Now, um, with uh, partnerships, you can either do a, a limited or a general. Um, so the limited one means you're, you're limited on the liability part and the general partnership, you're just, you're just a general partner. Um, for the corporation, there's the C Corp and the S Corp. So I'm gonna go S Corp and C Corp. Now, um, one of these is you have a hundred shareholders or less. I don't know if you guys can see that right on the edge. Yeah, a hundred shareholders or less is one of them. I forget which one. Uh, one of the the other one is a hundred plus shareholders. So there's two types, one that has a little shareholders and one that has a lot. You could Google it right now, um, I'm not really sure, but it's either the S Corp or the C Corp. And with, um, with corporations, it's easier for companies to invest inside your business for later equity percentage. Now, why would you want to go corporation? Because you think your business is going to do so well that a lot of people are going to bring all this cash into your company so it can grow. It's easier for a investor, accredited investor, to put up front money because it is a corporation. It's really hard when you're a sole proprietor or a limited liability liability corporation. A 
okay? Uh, so that's the reason for going S Corp or C Corp. Um, nonprofit, obviously, you just want to do it for fun, or you like charity work, you know, or you care about, you know, the community. That's nonprofit, obviously. You should know that. Anyways, um, now we have um, Limited Liability Corporation. Right here, one of the most famous ones. Most meal prep companies are LLC. Uh, why is that? Nico, describe LLC. Um, give me a fucking second to type this thing. Okay, so let me take you guys through it from the camera. All right, <clears throat> so L Lim Limited Liability Corporation for short, corp, I can't spell. Anyways, a limited liability corporation. Here's you, right? Here's the business. This is your LLC. It is a magic divider between you, the owner, and the business. That right there is a shield, my friend. Um, you use that because you're now you're you have limited liability for this business right here. If someone gets sick, the business is liable. If someone sues, the business is liable. If someone says anything, it ties you off with the business. So you see why limited liability corporation is a really good thing to do. Okay, so now I just described the types of legal entities to go to, right? So now you have your options, right? When you go, when you go to the fucking store, you want options, right? You want to see what you're working with. You don't go in there and just buy one thing. You take a look at it and you say, hey, uh, man, these are really good track pants. I wonder if they're in blue or if they're in white or if they're in red, right? So, that's the legal entities, that was two. Now number three, we're gonna go on to the EIN number. Nico, what is the EIN number? Gee, I'm glad you asked. Um, an EIN number is an employer identification number. It's used for tax purposes. To know who, who, what, what's your company? You need, I need, I need to know what, um, I need to know your company, like who are you? Um, so stands for employer identification and number that's what it stands for employer identification number Nico where the fuck do you get an EIN huh I think you go to the IRS <laughs> hmm where do I find the IRS um let's go to irs.gov okay cool let's go apply for one so you go there you literally fucking press one goddamn motherfucking button. It says, literally, it says, it says apply, man. <laughs> you press the button, and then you put in all your information. Now you have your business name, right? You have your type of legal entity that you want to put because you found which type of clothing you like. I like the blue one, man. Anyways, so you like the blue one. Okay, so I chose S Corp. All right, so I'm gonna put in there S Corp. My business name, name, and my now I have my E I N, right? So now I have my E I N in there. Okay, so where was I going with this? Okay, oh that's how you get an E I. So. You don't put it in there, my bad. You, um, you, that's what you get from the IRS.gov, right? Okay, so, crash it down here. As you can see, I'm not this short. Anyways, um, now that you got that checked off, that checked off, and this checked off. Now we go into the business address. You also need to put that in there, I think. Um, you need to have two types of addresses. Can you repeat that? How many do you need? How much? Two. Oh, for real? Why? Okay, you need one for your actual location. 
right? Where are you gonna be cooking at? Where are you gonna be at? You know, where's your uh, place of business? Okay, that's my location. Now, I need a mailing ad address, addy. Okay, so you need two. One and two. Kind of messy. One and two. So you need a mailing address and you need a location. They can be different. Two of them can be different. Like it's, uh, it doesn't matter. But you need to have that mailing location because all of this motherfucking confusing shit gets mailed to that address. And it fucking sucks if you don't have a place where you can know where it's at. Trust me, I've gotten fucking tons of fucking mail. Ad sent to my home and I'm just like why the fuck is it getting sent to my house like this is so much shit so if you have a place where your office is that's way better because that's the place you do business you want to you want to separate yourself like this with your business but I mean limits of liability you, you get it bro when you're trying who the fuck calling me Hey man, you're on YouTube right now. I'm doing a session. This is Dustin, y'all. I'm uh, whiteboarding right now. So, give me a second, man. You interrupted the videos. I'm on that, bro. I'm a little sick, dog. He's a, uh, this is one of my clients. Hey man, I'm gonna call you back real quick. I gotta finish this up. I'm trying to give you a quick little update real quick. What's going on, man? Yeah, we're alive. <laughs> Alright, anyways, um, you want to separate yourself from the business. It doesn't have to be a limited liability, but that's the concept. You want to separate yourself from the business. Money gets separated. You have to know where your money's going for your personal and money where it's going for your business. Because if you put the both the two together, you're never gonna fucking know where your goddamn money is, and it sucks, because you don't know your finances. That's why an accountant helps. Anyways, getting the fuck off topic. Um, before I got interrupted, you have your one location and your mailing address. And then you have number five, right here. You have your seller's permit, right? What's up, Matt? <laughs> All right, with your seller's permit, you where do you get it from? Uh, gee, I wonder where, where, where do I get a seller's permit, man? You get it from this place called the Board of Equalization. Board of Equalization is a tax administration. They are the people who take care of this. Uh, where do I go for uh, the Board of Equalization? Uh, huh, boardofequalization.com? <laughs> Same thing with irs.gov. So, um, BOE stands for Board of Equalize, Board of Equalization, right there. That's what BOE is. Now, when you're in the Board of Equalization, I think it's .gov or .com, I could be wrong, but go search it up, you go do that and you enter in your EIN. Gee, Nico, where's, where's the EIN? Where, where, where does that come from? Uh, if you went back to step number three, there it is. You just plug and chuck. It's a nine digit number, uh, so nine digit number. It's a nine digit number, there it is. So, you know, I hope this really helps you guys. Um, this is what it is. That's how, what it takes to get a, to start your own business. Uh, it's a lot of tax shit. It fucking sucks because if you incorporate wrong, if you do this shit wrong, it sucks. Because trust me, I've been through this process. I've done it for this, for this company called Muscle Made Meals. I decided it wasn't the right name. It wasn't the right business name, right? I incorporated it as an LLC. So the type of legal entity, I did LLC. 
but now we're looking for investors for my company. So that's bad. Remember how I told you in the beginning how it's, it's difficult for an investor to invest in something if it's not a corporation? So that's what I did wrong there. And then, um, but I got the EIN, I got the seller's permit. Um, that one, those were pretty easy. You just go online and, you know, you just, you just do it. Uh, for LLC, I'll put in another video on how to, in, how to incorporate for an LLC. Uh, but yeah, uh, just make sure you have, literally to simplify this, let me show you guys what you really need. Like the main stuff you really need is this. <clears throat> you only need your name, legal entity, your EIN address, seller's permit. That's pretty much it. God, that's horrible. That's pretty much it. You need your name, your legal entity, your EIN, your address, and your seller's permit. There's about seven different types of entities. There's uh, nine. Nine digit number. Address, you need two of them. Seller's permit, remember you get your EIN and you plug it into your seller's permit. Um, EIN is from irs.gov and your uh, BOE, the Board of Equalization from the seller's permit, so go to the BOE. I just put site because I don't know if it's uh, dot com or dot gov but i hope this guys helps hope this really helps uh name oh, oh what is it called again um where do you how do you find out if your name is uh, being in use uh it's this thing called uh hmm g oh is it two l two o's oh google right i could search for it on facebook too and see if it's an instagram username Oh, shit, no wonder. Uh, damn, the internet's so powerful nowadays. Guess how much it is to Google something. It's fucking free. Done.